Okay, folks, just one minute. Just after I just got to um, close the bathroom door because I don't want me my face in the mirror. I don't want people to know what the fuck I look like. So we just done our we just done our badge flashing just before then. So sorry about that. I didn't realise. Just in case, I just hope I didn't capture myself there. So. So let's see what we're going to do with this. This is an odd, this is a really odd thing we have here, but it's, I'm sure it's from something fairly mundane. It's just a little something that got obviously is destroyed. Something that's been destroyed and it's gone. It's all wonky. I don't know what it is. It looks like it comes off a car. It's hard to tell what the fuck it is. So I'm wondering if we're going to lighten it up. I don't know what we're doing with it. I don't know if we're going to make it into a movement piece or what. I'm just trying to decide. Um, I don't want to scratch the glass with it. Hopefully it won't scratch. It shouldn't. Metal doesn't, doesn't normally scratch glass, but it, it's stainless steel, I think, can. I don't know. Uh, this one's going to be an interesting one. It's a mystery piece. So, yeah, it's going to be a mystery. So I'm wondering if we're going to enlarge this. We're going to keep it at 100. So I'm just going to take it. It's an interesting piece of metal. It looks like it's both brass and chrome plated. So the brass is on the inside there and the rest of it looks chrome. So you've got this odd looking crushed it's obviously been crushed it looks like it's it could could be an ashtray maybe or something off a car i don't know what the fuck it is so i'm just going to gently put it on the glass and i'm just going to have a bit of fun with it we're going to do something interesting with it i don't like sliding this across the glass but something's telling me i'm going to do something nice with this and this will probably i don't know if it will go in the recycle bin you think it would be metal but it's not like household metal it's not like cans and and bottles and shit now oh, this machine's just paused i don't know what it's doing it doesn't it wasn't saying i didn't see it say um stabilizing image which is what it often does so sometimes this photocopier does have strangeness about it but hey it's logical somewhere it's logical but anyway that looks quite interesting i think we can um use that in a uh, mirror image there's a little bit of a rainbow there not a great deal of rainbow so i'm wondering if we're gonna if we're gonna do it again maybe we're gonna try another one so we're just gonna put it up in the top corner again like so and we're gonna slide it around we're going to make us going to be a little bit more adventurous with it and let's see i think i fucked up i don't know what i did there so this is an interesting uh, it's an ugly looking thing but anyway it should make a really good uh demo in the end oh whoa look at that we we only just got pieces of it now that's really strange so that's an interesting one we can just have a close look there you can see lovely colours and you can just see there we fucked up. We're going to try another one. Okay, another one folks. So we're just going to try one more and see if we can make it look even better. See if we can make it look good. But I fucked up as far as I'm concerned, but it still looks nice. Oops, oh shit, don't want to damage the plastic on this. Even though Mytronics have been paid, I've paid Mytronics for this machine by... By taking out a bank loan, I still don't want to damage the equipment. I sort of feel it's still there, so funnily enough. I do get charged for the copies I make on this, and that looks quite interesting. I think we can do maybe something with that one. Uh, we'll see what we can make this into. So we're just going to take this metal piece of shit off the glass, and I think it's going to be a recycle, so we're just going to put it down to in our pile of recycles and we're just going to take this one which will be this is the one we want and we're going to use it as a as a 
master copy. For some reason it's oh I had I just cleaned this glass with Windex and this glass is so not slippery. Look at that, it's gripping. I don't know how I'm gonna perform my other demos. I fucked up using Windex. So sorry guys if I can't perform slipping and sliding things. It's like as if you need silicon oil when you clean the glass. I've never noticed that with my C353, but it looks like the window cleaner that I used has added a added something to it that I don't actually want, and that is to make it make the glass surface too grippy. So it's too grippy at, at least for paper like this. So I'm hoping I can still Oh, I forgot to do something. We're just going to stop here. We're going to cut this and we're just going to go. We forgot something. We've got to set this thing up properly. But yeah, I just hope my paper objects don't grip too much. This is a real problem. If, if it's going to grip like like that, it's, it's really grippy. I don't want the glass to grip. I, never, I didn't even know that could happen when you use fucking Windex. I'm going to have to go over this with some water, a clean cloth with water. I think I'll do this after I've done this demo, is I might indeed do that. And I forgot another thing. I forgot to set the colour balance. Stuff it. I'm going to leave it for a change. I seem to be stuffing up. Not a good start. I'm very disappointed that the glass is grippy. If I had some silicon oil, I'd probably give it a nice little coating of that. But anyway, that's an interesting one. We're just going to get rid of these. And we're just going to put this one here. I think that's that looks almost surreal in some ways. So I think we're going to just make... We're going to make this into a mirror image. As you've probably noticed, we're just moving all the other shit away. All the other stuff. And we're just going to make this into a mirror image. So we're just going to hit off another one, but I'm going to probably stop and grab a chucks and just wipe the residue off the glass and hopefully I can, the glass can be a little bit more slippery again. So let's see, this, this copies of this mystery metallic object or this piece of metal, I don't know what the fuck it is. It looks like something off a car, or maybe an ashtray, maybe a public ashtray that just got run over. It's hard to say what the fuck it is, but it's interesting. So now we're just going to run off two, um, two mirror images to make this image complete. So we're just going to hit on two, hit on that, and I'm going to have to get this fucking glass wiped clean. Hopefully, I'm sort of really annoyed. It would have been better if I didn't use Windex, if I just used water. Next time it's going to do that, because fuck, it's grippy. It just grips the paper too, too hard. It's like total grip. I'll just, I'll probably do a dry one on when I get off this um, camera, once I've done my demo. I've got to have a look and see if... If we, if we can fix that problem. I mean, maybe the manufacturer, Konica Minolta, probably recommend you have silicon oil on the glass. I know that with dock feeders, old fashioned document feeders on Xerox equipment, they, when you're refurbishing a machine, you always put, you wipe special silicon oil on the glass so that the document can slide across the the surface of the glass because in the old days dock feeders were like belts they had a rubber belt that actually moved and any grippiness would make the friction too too hard on, between the original and the glass and that would be a disaster so you, you they use silicon oil on the glass to improve the slip the to lessen the friction the friction was meant to be on the between the paper and the rubber belt and not between the paper and the glass but anyway, that looks really nice. I think we can call that one quits. Gotta go.